reactor can be fed up today. And then, let's see if I can find something I haven't used before. Let's try the Z4 here. I think just to uh, see how it goes. Rabbit as well, guys. Welcome to the lobby park. Very good guy, nice, nice, friendly. Always up for a bit of banter. One of my uh, former race team members as well. So let's uh. See if Rabbit's picked up the pace and stuff disappeared. I'm hoping so because uh, he was getting quicker when I left. All right, guys. So a 131.250. Good stuff. So let's try something else now. Let's see what other cars are half decent around here. That's the car I normally use right there, guys. That is a little rocket, if you can master it, man. Um, okay, so let's try. Let's try Hyundai, I think. Welcome to the lobby, guys. Guys, we have got Kentucky Fried Chicken in the house. Don't think that's actually what it means, guys. So, 
don't take that uh, to heart, but definitely had KFC at the start of his name, so. Okay, and we got NLR Sebi again, with Rabbit back as well. in front of us guys, we're going to try to use him for a slipstream so we can get a nice launch down that straight in order to begin the lap I know this young man's got quite a bit of grunt down the street so let's see what it can do and we're already up time guys unfortunately now we're just getting held up trying to jag just because it's been a very long time since the last drove what's happening rabbit nice to have you in chat man how you been mate guys this car actually makes me want to drink I'm not a fan of guinness but just because i know what guinness is good stuff rabbit good stuff man how's the uh training going. I see, I see you in there this morning, I was going to jump in and wind you up a bit, but I thought I'd better leave you to it.
almost. Um, is it being streamed or well, what's, go what's going on with it, mate? Because uh, I haven't had a chance to see any of your lots fusion stuff yet. Guy that's racing in the competition don't know either, so I've got no chance. I thought I thought you were some sort of intelligent rabbit, man. What's going on? So we're in the Jag and we're already up again. <laughs> well, I'm glad you finally admitted that one, man. First sign, the first sign of getting better is uh, admitting the problem. seconds down. But I'm surprised that the N, uh, that Sebi is uh, not in the f first place because he won most of the races last night. <coughs> so it's always good to see him back. That's how you get quicker guys, by racing faster people man. Driving rabbit. Anything special? Or are you back in that Peugeot? So what? Old namesake? The beat away? I know you're not in the Lambo, so... <laughs> Only other thing I can think of is that beat Oh, Ooh, guys, again, we have just missed out there. Uh, 
Jack is obviously a nice car round here, guys. Let's see if we can find something else. Um, I'm actually going to try the Porsche guys because a lot of people tend to use this car. Uh, actually, don't, before I do that, let's check the lobby out. It looks like we are all set and ready. Yes, we are. Okay, so let's jump back in that Jag. Get ready to go. Best of luck to you all. Hopefully it goes well. Remember guys, keep it clean because damage is on full. Yeah. Hello. Ah, and I forgot to ready up guys. How stupid am I? So we are actually going to commentate on this one because I'm a pleb. So let's get all our display info up. Okay, so we'll go off with the leader. Tumbarry in first place, followed by Sebi in the GTR, and um, followed by Mass in the Aston Martin, guys. <coughs> Let's see how they uh, deal, deal with that and if they can hold the positions. Then we have um, our friend from Japan in the rather bright and crazy livery Mercedes here. Then we have Driver in the Jag, great car. Then we have Mr. KFC himself, guys. The Colonel has arrived in the DB9R, followed by Lobo in the GTR again. Then we have Pro Ben Jordan in another AMG, guys. Again, a popular car to use here. Then we have RT1 in another Mercedes, followed by Pep. Uh, in the AMG and then we have two McCarrens guys here's the Italian Jeremy Clark who I was telling you about so good luck to him hopefully being Italian helps him out and then he picked up a penalty so the, uh, our other Italian friend and other McLaren then we have ART Rabbit guys in the Aston Martin good old faithful as he called it Followed closely by Stefan with Ghost miles behind already guys. So let's move back up the table as we've got the Japanese guy making a move on Mass. Can he actually pull it off? No guys, Mass defends that really well. So good on him. Hopefully that sorts itself out quickly because they are losing the front too guys. And then up front we have Sebi in the GTR hunting down Tunbury in his Lexus guys, so Lexus is looking quite strong. Let's keep moving through the pack, we've just had our Japanese friend go off track, so he's lost a bit of time here guys, and he's picked himself up a penalty as well. So we've got a three-way battle here for sixth between a Mercedes, a GTR and a DB9 guys. but it looks like they are also catching fifth, which will make this a very interesting battle. So we'll keep an eye on that as we go through the pack. Have we got any more battles happening? We've just got Rabid, who's gone up into 11th place, guys. He's doing very well. He's managed to get past quite a few people. He's absolutely flying through the pack, people. So we're gonna keep an eye on him as well. And he's just actually got Purple Sector, guys. So we're actually gonna stay with him and uh, see if he can pull off fastest lap because he is absolutely flying
but he has got Stefan all over the back of him guys. This is going to be a rather tight first corner. Let's see how he defends. Looks like he's going to defend the inside. Did he manage to pull that one off? Yes he has, he's defended well and we've gotten off in the background. Jeremy Clarkson has been taken out along with our other Italian friend in the McLaren F1. Okay, we've got for sit in the battle for sixth. We've just had the Colonel himself, Mr. KSC, take seventh from Pro uh, Pro Ben. So that battle is still going on first, guys. Unfortunately, we missed it, but with it's coming along nicely. And we have another battle for eighth place, guys, with two Mercedes. Hello, Bob the Original. How are you doing, bro? So, we have lots of battling going on. Let's see how we're going on up front. Oh, as uh, our Japanese friend picks up another penalty, guys. It's not looking too good. As he's actually moved up into fourth. No, he was already in fourth. Forget that. Good, I'm glad to hear you're okay, mate. Glad to hear you're okay. Okay, so the battle for first has officially got a nice gap now but that is a GTR and we all know that is quick and straight so that is not over yet guys I can imagine Turnberry is feeling a fair old bit of pressure but he's holding on well so we'll keep an eye on him it's nice to see someone take it to NLR and we have just lost the Colonel guys he has left the room so I'm guessing he was taken out but we are down to just 14 races now guys so let's go back through the pack. Yeah. Between Pro Ben and uh, Pepe Pep Lewis. I'm guessing it's Pepe Lewis, but he's missing these. So. But the battle is going on fierce. Welcome to the lobby, Bob. Let's uh, see how this one pans out, guys, because they are absolutely at each other, Hammer and Tom. Sitting there. Okay, apparently he ain't even moved off the line guys, he just jumped all the way back to the line. <laughs> so that promotes, that gets uh, Pro Ben off his back. So Pro Ben can now hopefully start moving up. Let's check on Rabbit. Rabbit has now moved up to 11th, uh, to 9th guys. But that might be because people have left the room. And we have RT1 in 8th, 3 seconds ahead of uh, ART Rabbit. And he is slowly closing down on Pro Ben Jordan, who is 2.2 seconds behind Lobo. And the race is finished, guys. So Tunbury held his place very well. Good stuff. With Sebi closely behind and Mass. So the top three stayed the same. Same as fourth stayed the same. We've had a little bit of fifth stayed the same. Lobo stayed the same. So we had a little bit of battling in the mid pack guys, but it is all over now. Very well done to everyone. Unfortunately we had a few knocks and scrapes, but that was all very well raced guys. Good stuff. <sighs> guys, it's quite hard to commentate on a race you're not in, especially when you've never done it before. So fair play to them. I tried my best. Hopefully it was good enough. Look, congratulations to GT Tunbury who won very nicely, held off all that pressure the whole race from in a, uh, from Sebi. So we will definitely congratulate the top three on this one. <coughs> Alrighty. No, not more laps please. We do quick, fast races here guys. The reason why we do that is purely because it's nice to have a bit of difference. Okay, so Bob joined the room. Yep, Bob is in. Toonie T is in as well. So we got a couple guys back from yesterday, guys. Alright, what we're going to do now is we're going to take it to a track vote. And let everyone pick their race. I never vote here guys, because it's all down to the guys in the lobby. So 
So let's see what we're looking at here. We've got possible Dragon Trail Seaside or Red Bull Ring at the moment. It is 4 3 between Red Bull and Dragon Trout. With Red Bull taking the win. There we go, guys. We are off to Red Bull in Austria. Okay, so once this loads up, we will add another lap because Red Bull is quite a quick circuit. So let's go five laps, plenty of time, let's jump in our car, um, I think I will go for, you know what, I'm going to try the Corvette here, this time I will ready up as well once I check my tyres, which are good. Let's jump out on track. Okay, so we have our Italian Jeremy Clarkson sitting still, trying to pose, I suppose. So, who is looking forward to Formula One this weekend, guys? Do you reckon it's going to be a close one or do you reckon uh, Mercedes is going to walk away with it? You're going for a Red Bull taking the win. What make what makes you so certain of that? Cause you seem pretty sure, bro. So you're a Max Verstappen fan over Lewis, yeah? Fair enough. Makes a bit more sense. See me personally, I'm actually hoping like George Russell can do something. I don't really care who wins this season. It's like a little just something to fill the gap while they wait for the 2022 season. So uh, there's this season here, I'm sort of cheering for the back guys, man. It's always nice to cheer for an underdog. Um, and if not George Russell, then it'd be nice to see uh, Pierre Gasly take a couple, because uh, he's definitely been on form of late. Okay, so Seti has set up 1.27.9 guys, that is a very decent time. But we are only just off that as well. Yeah, I already have my car. Hey look, don't, don't lie, okay, we all know you like my commentary rabbit. Thank you very much Bob, appreciate moving over mate. What do you reckon, Rubbish? Do you reckon I should do a bit of commentary from now on as well, or what? Ha 
<laughs> not enough swearing in it, no. Is that, is that why I'm not allowed? Unfortunately, mate, I have to behave myself at the moment. Alright, well, I'll, I'll do a couple special feature ones for you then while I'm swearing at everything, okay? Just, just for you, rabbit. Just make sure you're in it so I can swear at you too. Period 18. <laughs> That's not like it. I was going to say, mate, you best check that one out. So, Peggy 18, guys. Well, luckily, I have actually stopped this channel from being viewed by kids, which is always a bonus. So, I can actually do that sort of stuff, which is great. Not only that, but uh, it's very rare you find a good. Uh, a uh, kid that can race as well as we are looking for, so I do tend to shut it off to uh, the younger younger audience. <laughs> Maybe mentally, yeah, a bit. Rabbit, you, you can't you can't use that stuff here, man. <laughs> I know you all too well, my friend. Guys, just to let you know, Rabbit is actually 82 years old. He, he is a racing granddad, guys. So uh, if you do catch him and he is going slowly, it's probably because he's looking for his walking stick in the car. for the comeback guys. Oh you're looking out the window. Oh I see. Check taking in the sight, sure. Sunday driver window looking. Fair enough, mate. <laughs> well, guys, at least he's willing to admit it, man. So, good on him. He's actually under age and hostage in Legion's basement right now. <laughs> What's happening, Ahmed? Uh, Ahmed. Mohammed. Sorry, mate. <clears throat> Man, how, how have uh, you been since the other night? Bad mate, not bad. Uh, a little bit under the weather at the moment, but other than that, I'm good. Hello, Kai. Um, I'll probably.
probably be streaming. Uh, maybe till about half 10, 11. Depends, because uh, as I said last night, um, I do actually have to go to work, so I will stay as late as I can to get you in, but um, I imagine it won't be for too long, so hopefully you make it, Kai. Um, if not, then I will be streaming again on Saturday, possibly Friday night, actually. Depends on what time I finish work. Hopefully you will, mate. If not, then, um, like I said, I will see you maybe Friday or Saturday. Okay, so, everybody has read it up. Let's see how this one goes, guys. Oh, as someone spins out on this entrance, let's see if we can catch that quick. Who was it? Ah! Okay, so, oh, we got a wiper in the lead, guys. Followed by a Ferrari. That's a very unusual choice for on this track. So guys, please remember that, uh, again, damage is on full. So if you do take someone out, you will cost yourself the race as well as them guys so keep it clean cannot stress it enough okay apparently we have had a bug at the start guys so it seems like everyone's willing to race okay alright cool we're gonna restart then Servers are terrible. See, look at this, guys. They all, they all, they all know the deal. <laughs> all right, so race is cancelled. Let's see if we can uh, get back in and get moving. <laughs> start it's a rolling start they happen all the time so. okay so everybody is now ready we are going to try this again guys Only reasons we don't do grid starts here is purely because it tends to be an absolute mess. <sighs> so we do rolling starts in order to split the pack a bit to make sure no one gets taken out in the first corner because it's crap having to sit there, go around the whole lap with damage. It's terrible. <laughs> so hopefully this time we get a clean start guys would be nice. Okay, so we got Tonberry behind this time with Rabid and Bob the Original. So let's see if we can hold that off and move up the pack. So here we go. Right, nice good start this time guys. That's what I like to see. No glitches or bugs. 
whatever you want to call them, either way they suck. Okay, so we are up behind our friend from Japan in yet another bright, liveried, colourful car. that just to not interfere with the race a bit because I did miss the breaking point slightly there. Okay so we still have Bob, Tom Murray and Rabbit behind them. I think Ooh, yeah Rabbit has fallen back as Tom Murray has overtaken so God Jesus Christ mate Watch your, watch, watch your radar. Okay, and now Tom Murray is trying to make a move on Bob the original. Seems like he's got that done guys, so I am going to be under pressure shortly, so I need to get moving guys. And that is the 458. Picks up a penalty. As Tom Berry gets slightly sideways coming out of that turn, guys, so it's giving us a tiny bit of breathing room. And I've got a messed up my own time, so I'm going to let him go because I don't want that penalty. Which I've got anyway, guys. Okay, so we're back in eighth because someone left. And it has actually left the game as well, guys. So, adios. We don't do quitters. I'm not going to lie, I'm starting to miss my Lamborghini now. But we still have uh, Bob and Rabbit chasing behind. Don't know what's happened to Rabbit, I think he spun or had contact because he is quite far behind. There we go, so this Ferrari is quick coming into the turn but not so quick on the way out. Thank you very much because he did let me go there. Okay, 
like we have moved up on... Whoa, mate. Keep it on the racing line, man. Okay, so we have our Japanese friend behind us. And Jeremy Clarkson, two miles off the track. Okay guys, we're in the final lap, fourth place is up for grabs. Can be any one of four cars. I get the run on our German friend here. Who has Tom Berry and our friend from Japan coming up behind him, guys? But they are battling at the moment, so he might be able to hold that. Chase down Jeremy Clarkson who has a 2.9 second penalty to burn guys and I'm expecting that to go up even more. Germany is also going to grab his position and he actually ends up behind everybody guys so he actually lost f what four positions guys so two shishi man race clean guys keep it on track man and if you do get a penalty stop and burn that off as ART rabbit comes by with a Another one second penalty. <laughs> Rabbit man, what's going on bro? I thought you were quick. <laughs> Spun for piggy, yeah. Did you did you save the replay so you can send it in post? Okay guys, so our friend from Japan has gone, thank god, because he was all over the place. No problem Sebi. Ah mate, better save that replay quickly then man. to the track vote. Sebi is going to be on a break guys so only a couple quick guys left in this lobby. Well you're all quick but I mean those alien type guys. So let's see what we've got going on. Ah I see. Fair enough mate. If you don't pay you what's the point of spinning for piggy right? Okay, so we are going to Mount Panorama, guys. And I am thinking of making this a night race, because here, this track at night, is good fun. So let's see what these guys want to do. If they're happy with it becoming a night race, then uh, we will definitely set that up. Dusty's up for it, 
Jeremy Clarkson's up for it. He's up for it. Looks like everyone's up for this, guys. So it looks like we are going to Mount Panorama in the dark, guys. It's alright, Rabbit, you're not supposed to see me. We're going to do four laps here because this is a bit of a bigger track. And here we go, guys. Look at this track at night. Although 6.15 is a bit early for a night race. But here comes Mount Panorama, guys. This place is pitch black. Get on board with our friend Bob the Original. And he uh, shows us how dark this track is. Look at this, guys. You can maybe see 100 meters ahead of you before, before you know what's going on. Look at this, man. It's a very daunting thing, man. Very daunting night race. But it is also good fun and a great place to learn, guys. Okay, so give everybody a chance, well oh, just me actually, because I'm a retard and not paying attention. Alright. So I'm going out in my Lambo for this. And we are about to get cracking, so let's go. No practice for anybody, we are just going straight out, getting it done, man. Four laps of Mount Panorama. Let's do this. Rabbit, Cubby, Dusty, and our Italian friend in that McLaren early on, guys. With GT Tonberry coming up. Ah, oh, no way! Alright, so I've just been and had an accident. Come on, champ. Uh, Chubby, keep it moving man, or Cubby, shall I say, apologies. So guys, that is officially it, we need to head back to the pits. So that is why guys, you need to be careful man. So 
fine. We are now chasing Bob for Sip. As he goes flying up the inside. Well done, Bob, for evading that, mate. Very well done indeed. That guy is officially out now with maximum damage, guys. So, GG him. But that's his race done until he gets back to the pits. And if he quits, then we all know he weren't serious. It seems like he's kept going, so Let's see how we do. But guys, we have got a lot of work to do, man. With just three laps left to do it. Looks like Chubbs, uh, Cubby decided not to put in, so he's going to be target number one. Definitely taking damage on guys. So what he's actually doing now is costing himself time. And that's it. So now we're off to Jeremy Clarkson. Who has somehow managed to get that McClellan round, but I don't think he's too healthy, guys. Okay, so someone has just left. I'm guessing that was uh, Cubby because he's no longer behind you guys. As you can see, this McLaren is vulnerable because he has got damage and has not fitted to repair it, guys. And now we catch up with our friend Mr. Bob the Original, who is going into the pit. Hopefully that's not too bad, mate. But well done for keeping it going. Okay guys, so we are back into 6th place and now we have a 23 second gap to pull in guys and the next guy is AT, uh, ART Rabbit so let's see what we can do can we pull him in in time or are we just going to be racing for the rest of this race on our own dark? So we have brought that down by two seconds already. Okay, it's still coming down quite quick. So I'm guessing Rabbit has either been in a battle or is damaged as. So we have done a total of three seconds, four seconds in a single lap, guys. And 
Tom Barilla taking the fastest lap. Guys, I'll tell you this now, that is a hard time to pull off even in the daytime, guys. So to do that at night, that guy is flying, man. Tractor. And I've lost the rear guys, luckily I didn't get no damage off of that, but I remember having a handful up in this top part, so it's always bound to happen, so we were up beforehand, I'm guessing we are now quite badly down on time, let's see how much that little slip cost me guys. There you go, look at that. We went from being up to being down by nearly eight tenths, guys. That's how much a simple little slip can cost you. Look, guys, we managed to close rubber in. We were sitting at the line waiting for me, showing off. <laughs> but, it's all right, Rabbit, because we all know you don't really beat me that often. <laughs> Gotta give him his kudos, though. He raced that well, man. So, congratulations, Rabbit. Congratulations to our winners as well. Look at this guys, they were flying man. These three literally sorry, top oh, okay, so who's blue here? Okay, so this guy went from fifth on the first lap up to first guys. And then lost it, lap two and maintained that position all the way through from lap three all the way to the end. Oh, good stuff, man. Thank you for dropping in, G-Money. Guys, if you don't know who he is, this is G-Money, man. He race, uh, he streams on YouTube as well at G-Money Racing. Um, he'll be streaming soon as well. Um, so, if at any point I shut mine down, um, feel free to go check him out, or you can go check him out now. Either way, give him a sub give him a like funny guy man you'll enjoy the racing with him you gonna come out of a quick race G money or what Racing lobby to jump into. Um, just head to G Money Racing, man. Just give him a sub, and uh, when he's about, jump in his lobbies and have a good time, man. Good man. Alright, Rabbit, thank you very much for coming, pal. I'll see you soon. Okay. 
Okay, so we got the same track guys. So what we're going to do instead is we are going to switch it up ourselves. So, that was Mount Panorama. So where we're heading to next, keeping it as real as we can, we are going to head for Spa guys, because everybody loves a race at Spa. Here we go guys, look at this iconic track man. Here he is guys, the legendary G Money has joined us himself. And if you are, uh, if you know who G Money is, you'll see what his real speed is like now. That he's uh, able to concentrate without getting him <laughs> having to read messages man. It is a lot different having to race reading these messages guys, so you will see the difference for sure but we're still going to chase after him though or we'll try to at least okay got to change time of day one moment so we will make it fine weather midday Already done that, mate. You're a little slow, but thank you. <laughs> Gee, money, man, they know, they know. So it looks like we are all clear. So we are gonna. Oh, and Abby's in the house, guys. Another one of the regulars have come along. and uh, Abby left to get in as well as Ghost Milk or Ghost Mike I'm guessing so we're gonna jump out on track just to get a little bit of a practice in because hello so far nice to see you buddy how are you doing man Pleasure is mine, buddy. The pleasure is mine. Always good to have good races and clean people up in here. So, with all the originals coming back, or regulars, if you like. Uh, it's going to get interesting guys. Like I said, they're all very good races, very fast guys as well. So, the pressure is on.
you go. So I would say I'm on National Moon Dot. Let's see how uh, the lobby's looking. Hopefully everyone is ready. I know um, NLR Sebi is not joining us because he said earlier on he'd take a small break. So let's go see how we're doing. Okay, so just Toonie needs to ready up. While he's doing that, that will be two seconds, guys. Sorry about that, ladies and gents. So, let's get it moving because uh, looks like Tooney T is not joining, so let's go. Okay, so we have Bob, the original, up in front. Hopefully you can hold on to that. He's got a lot of quick guys behind him. So I wish you all the best, mate. And you have myself, San Miguel. <sighs> yeah, you missed that one part. Um, Abby, uh, Cubby, Merton all at the back and somewhere in the mid pack we have uh, our good guy G Money who we are going to be chasing down as quickly as we can and he's super out there he is guys I can see him already that bright orange car the Paul Walker tribute super as I like to call it so Let's see what we can do. Can we get through this pack quick enough? Got a load of guys in Lexus is here, so we'll see. Gonna do the usual hanging back. Just to get a great run up this hill. And here we go guys. Look at that man. The difference between waiting slowly and going up behind somebody else man. It is crazy. Look at that guys, three cars in one go. Gotta love this stuff man. So we are now officially chasing Team Money as Tom Berry has had an incident guys. Hopefully he recovers from that with no damage. Nice to see that people are apologizing, it's good stuff. Try and keep it clean though guys, because as I said damage is on. Now we are up behind Ghost here, who is going very slowly guys, so we need to be careful. We're going to try to go up the inside. He's defended that. But he has gone off the road in turn guys. Okay. 
Okay, so G Money has officially moved up the pack, guys. He is now in fifth place. And we are still trying to chase him down, guys. Let's see if we can get this done, man. And still see that bright orange car from a mile away, guys. Look at that. He's under a lot of pressure, though, from Dusty. So hopefully we can capitalize on their battle. There he is. There's Dusty and G Money, guys. We are catching them nicely. And G Money managed to hold that off. So well done, G Money. Now we're up behind uh, Nell here. Let's see if we can uh, get the jump on him like we did the other guys. Coming down into the sauce. A nice liver on that car, mate. Well done. As he backs out of it, guys, he has given the position up. I'm guessing he has got damage, guys, because he is going very slow. So we're now chasing down G Money and Dusty, who are still battling four seconds ahead, guys. Let's see what we can do, man. as I can to get this done people. The only thing that is making this easy is the fact that they are locked into a duel till the end man. They are very equally matched by the look of it guys. Which is always good to see. And not only that but they are keeping it clean. Close that gap down by a second, guys. That gap is coming down. Oh, as we get a little bit loose in the land boat. So, you guys, this is how hard I'm having to push now. Just to try and even get close. trying either way guys we got two more laps to go so I need to gain at least two seconds in the next lap guys let's see if I can get this done as they are actually catching up to the front pack Intense, man. This is intense. I am racing right there is no tomorrow. Okay, so they're about to get helped by each other's slipstream, which is fine. Because they're still battling. And they have officially caught up with the pack guys, so if I can get involved in that, we have a potential podium, man. And we always love a podium. So we've got one second close up, so we need to push harder guys. We are not catching them quick enough. So gap is now 2.2 seconds guys and it's still coming down. But I am honestly driving to my limit guys just to try catch these guys okay so we are now at two seconds so we have pulled it down 
about a second and a half guys, so we still need to find another five tenths before the end of this lap. Okay, so we are now on the back of Bob and Gene Money guys. As we set another fastest lap, we are absolutely flying here. Okay, so guys, we are in that opportune position again, guys. So let's see if we can capitalize. But this time, Bob does have the slipstream, guys. Okay, we have capitalized on Bob for sure. As we are flying towards him, who stays nice and straight, making it very clear and easy for me to overtake, which is very good stuff. Well done, Bob. None of that weaving stuff to try and send, send me all over the shop. Well done, pal. Okay, guys, so look who it is, man. It is G Money in fifth place, guys. But look at this pack. This is the pack for first, guys. All within four seconds, though. So it's still anyone's game. Any mistake could be costly right now. Okay, so we are in the slipstream of Dream Money. We have officially made it, guys. But can we get that move done? Can we actually get him? Or is he going to be able to defend that position? Man? Let's put him to the test, guys. I want to make him sweat before he goes live so he's aware what's coming. As we are on a four fastest lap again, guys. We are absolutely murdering this. Right, we are actually going to drop that slipstream quickly. And now we're going to jump back in following through and we are now just going to use that turn of speed from the Lambo guys and we are going to fully take advantage of that. We're going to keep it wide and guys on the last chicane we have managed to get G money man. That was tough guys, that was real tough. G money, great racing pal. Great racing indeed man, you made that so difficult. I think that's my fastest lap ever at Spa, mate. <laughs> yeah, really? <laughs> yeah, mate. I did tell you, I plan my, I plan my moves well in advance, bro. <laughs> but guys, that is how you get stuff done effectively, man. You plan ahead. So if you get within a slipstream range of somebody, you plan your moves, bro. Don't just go for it because you can, you plan ahead, guys. I waited for my opportune moment there, I hung back, I came out of the slipstream to make sure I'm not too close so I can get that run, guys. I planned that move and it worked. And that's what proper racecraft is, guys. That is racing. Thank you very much, man. I'm not gonna lie, you honestly had me pushing like crazy, man. But guys, that is G Money for you, man. G Money is quick when he ain't talking. He is a very quick driver. Yeah, definitely. Um, Dusty done very well, I'm not gonna lie. If it weren't for him, I probably wouldn't have caught you at the end. So thank you to Dusty for keeping that battle going. And Bob, thank you as well, because you got involved. Thank you, brother. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Family interruptions. But uh, yeah, man. Good job on to all. Great racing, everybody. Unfortunately, there was a bit of contact between a couple of guys. Hopefully, they sorted that out. As Sebi comes back into the room. I'm not gonna lie, I'm shaking right now, man. <laughs> that was a lot of pressure. Even though I was chasing, I was under a lot of pressure to catch G Money there, man. But we got it done, guys. We got it done.
No worries, pal. Um, I'm gonna have to end my stream shortly <coughs> as well because uh, my curry has arrived, guys. It is Thursday, it's my curry night. I don't miss curry for nobody, but I wanted to come see how everyone was doing, have a bit of fun with you guys. <laughs> yeah, that's it, G Money Man. Empty his pockets, bro. So, track vote, let's see where these guys want to take it. Yes, mate, curry night, you know it. Anyone that don't have a curry night is not human, man. Bob, it's all, it happens, it happens to us all, man. By all means, just keep racing with us and you will become quicker over time, man. It's just a case of getting that experience. Um, and being, in in lobbies with clean races and quick races always pushes you to drive faster drive harder and eventually you will get there man honestly i've done the same thing it's how i became as quick as i am on and off the mic um but it is what it is see there you go man G Money has literally taken the words out of my mouth. Guys, so by all means, if you're in chat and you're actually able to read that stuff, G Money has literally aced it, guys. That is exactly what we're here to do. Doesn't matter how quick you are, how, as long as you are clean, you're all welcome, you can all learn, guys. That's what it is about. So, here we are at South Tokyo, guys. Let's see which way this is going around. Right, okay, it's going around the proper way. So. It is a case of death chicane, guys. Look at that. That guy has just died. It is that easy to make a mistake here man. Here's Tom Berry, I do want to check out his McLaren. Okay guys, that is a nice looking livery there. Very flash, liking it bro, good stuff. Might have to steal that one off you man. Let's see if I can find him. Yes guys. I like to take people's stuff. <laughs> if I think it's good, I will take it. I'll give him a follow and that way I can find him after the race now. Okay, so we have everybody but Tooney T ready. So we're going to ask him if he's going to ready up again. If not, we will go without him, guys. Uh, where is he? There he is. in the pits. Look at that man. Ain't that flash guys. That is a nice livery man. Okay guys, so we are gonna get started because it looks like Tuny T ain't coming. So let's go. <sighs> guys this time my target is NLR Sebi man. Those uh, him and Kenshin are quick drivers guys they were with us last night and they were winning everything so they are my target for this race let's see if we can catch them okay so we have Kenshin in front of me with G Money 5th Abby foot uh, sorry G Money 6th Abby 5th uh, we have Tunbury in second so 
it looks like our target right now is in fourth place guys so we have got to get a move on man so it's going to be full push all the way yet again let's do this guys so Kenjing in the super first can we catch him on this straight If we can get one done before the first turn, we are going to be in a good position, guys. Oh, so that one is no, because we've been pushed straight wide, guys. But we're okay, no damage. So let's just keep moving on that one. And we will get him back shortly after. Here we go, guys. We'll give him the inside because we don't need it and he has outbroke himself guys so as long as we get a good acceleration we have that move done man okay so that's one target down guys we have now got another group to catch Yeah, literally relying on Lambo power to keep this super at bay at the moment guys because that is a quick car in a straight line but as you see the moment you no longer have a toe you will fall behind guys so you cannot afford to lose that toe that slipstream is all too important on this circuit man so you need to get through everything as clean as quick and as efficient as you can man Keep going Bob, keep going mate, you caught that nicely mate. Right, we have a very quick super coming up. He's just gone around my uh, in, up my inside. As he hits the wall again guys, this guy is a bit dangerous man. I'm hoping it's because he doesn't know the track, but he is costing everyone time man. So we are going to go for him again. Hold it. Ah! Oh. Unlucky Bob, I see that power. Keep it moving though, man. Pits are just here. Jesus Christ, mate. Hold it straight. Okay, guys. So we are back ahead of our friend in the Supra. We are now chasing down Abbey Fresh. Yet again, another quick clean racer, guys. Full respect to the guy. Now we're going to help him stay ahead of that super. With a bit of toe. Now we are up behind Dusty people as G Money steps up into third to second position, guys. G Money is on a move. We have to capitalize on all of this and get ourselves up there as well because they are right close together. Oh, guys, we've just picked up damage, man. That was the smallest tap as well, guys. Side guys, but he gets funky out of the turn, but holds that position, man. So, G Money is still in second place, chasing down Sebi, followed by Tunbury, who I know is also quick. So, that's proof again, guys, he is able to rock with the best of us. Whoa, mate, pay attention to your radar, please. Thank you. Okay guys, 
Tunbury is down, people. Tunbury is down. So G Money is now free to go chase down Sebi, guys. Let's see if he can do it. While well, I'll try and beat Genshin yet again. Fucking hell, stars. Guys, this is tough racing, man. Oh, they've hit the wall, guys. It's over. They've hit the wall. That and then allows us to get after dusty people. So if I can ace this turn, we should be in with a chance, guys. Uh, we're just outside that sleep stream, man. What a shame. But we'll get there. Never give up guys, I'm carrying damage on my rear left side and I'm still making my way through this pack. So it's doable guys, it is doable. has left guys, I guess he couldn't take it, but there you go, we are now in the slipstream man, this is why you do never give up, ever, ever, in racing anything can happen man, ah, end of the race guys, but I gave it my all, I had damage, there's only so much I can do man, so, well done Bob and Abby for keeping going after damage. Same as you Tom Berry, Sebi, G Money and Cubby, congratulations man. You got raced really well with that. G Money, I could not catch you in that one bro, so well done. Well done indeed. For the apology man well done indeed that's what i like to see good bit of good sportsmanship keep it nice and simple keep it nice and sweet man all right so g money had his revenge <laughs> which I'm sure I'm going to hear about that later but well done guys by all means for those who quit that's your problem man for those who stayed hopefully you'll keep getting better as time goes by and we'll be able to rock on and make more and more good races man but guys I am going to be ending this stream rather soon because as I said, my curry is here guys, and I do not want my curry going cold. So we're going to do one more, and then uh, we are going to be all over that man. Oh wow, welcome LJ, good to have you with us man, first time I've seen you <laughs> in my in my uh, stream, so more like more than Mario, welcome to have, like welcome to everything, whatever. See like I'm talking crap now guys, I am that kerfaffled. <laughs> but uh yeah, still nice to have you here, LJ. <laughs> but that is what I call racing man. If you ain't feeling pressure, you ain't racing. Right, so we're gonna take it to a track vote. And we are gonna go and end the stream after this ra next race, guys. But like I said, by all means, you've just witnessed it yourself. Uh, you got G Money here, very quick racer. Um, he's also a streamer who's gonna be starting his stream soon um, at G Money Racing on YouTube. 
by all means if you like what you've been race, uh, getting here in terms of racing fly over to G Money Racing man it is phenomenal racing guys it is all quick all clean and it's just absolutely brilliant so best of luck to you all should you join him okay so last race of the night well of this stream is going to be Largo Majore guys let's see what we can do here let me just say hello to Varda uh, as he did say hello Abby Fresh has gone So, we have myself, Tonberry, and Tuniti ready to, uh, we have to ready up. Gotta give another ready up to Tuniti, just to see if he's actually coming, because he has been gone for the last three races now. Best of luck. Um, and see you all at the finish, man. Okay, so let's see the grid here. We have LG up in first place, followed by Bob the Original with, with Tessa behind him in third, Sebi in fourth, v uh, Varda in fifth. Tunberry in 6th and myself in 7th guys, let's see how we can progress, hopefully we'll end with a podium, but either way as long as it's clean, fast and effective, I'm happy man. Ok so here we go, starting off with Tunberry in the uh, Audi R8. <laughs> Very good car if you know how to drive it. It's another one with those with that loose rear end, but very quick if you know what you're doing there. Probably one of the better MR cars as well. As it all gets a bit sideways, we just about managed to get through that clean so well done Bob I know you had to avoid me there mate so I do appreciate that man but get back in there it's not over yet guys but right now LJ is running away with this race people right, we are right behind Tunberry here is still in the strip of uh, slip stream of with Tessa. Now we are also in the slip, so we're gonna back out there because that's already gonna be close. Sorry, mate, I will give you the hazards there because that was a little bit naughty, but I couldn't do anything about that at all. So we're still behind Tunberry in the R8. And we are all chasing off the Varda guys. And then of course first place being LG. All trying to catch him as well. But he is on a move guys. Yeah. 
He's like, yep, I'm in first place, guys. I'm gone. I'll see you later. And that is exactly what he's done. Look at that gap, guys. That is one lap, and that's at least two and a half seconds. That is a big gap to make in a single lap, guys. Okay, so we're still with Tunbury here, and we are still chasing Vada now. But because we aren't battling, we are making headway, man. Okay, so here we go. Tunbury has taken the inside, but he's given me that position. So thank you very much, mate. Appreciate that. Rather than battle it out, we just switch in positions. That way we lose no time to Vardar up here, man. But Vardar is also flying, guys. Everyone here is pushing hard, man. Vada picks up a small penalty. I'm not sure how we got that one, but it's a penalty nonetheless. And hopefully, if you can't get rid of that, we can capitalise on it, man. Because LJ is just there, guys. If he's within sight, he is still catchable, man. level racing guys we might have just got ourselves a pony as well people that was very close but we're still trying to catch Rada guys he is on a move guys Martin Power versus Porsche Power versus Lambo Power versus Audi Power, guys. We're talking some of the most re uh, iconic racing teams in the world to this day. Just outside the slipstream reach. So let's keep that moving, guys. Again, guys, we are trying everything we can here. We've got pressure from Tunbury behind, who have not been able to lose at all. He's just been sitting there waiting for that opportune moment, guys. But we are also trying to close down Varda here. So he's trying his best to hold on to that position, man. But we have officially got him, guys. So. Now it's just LJ who is one second ahead, man. Can we gain that second? Okay, we are just outside slipstream range again. But we are not giving up yet, guys. There's still plenty of track left for anything to happen, man. And we are up yet again. 
as we are giving it everything this race man. But it looks like Team Money is good. Uh, sorry, LJ is going to be holding on to that position man. As he does it guys, and we set another fastest lap for the final lap. Guys, we were pushing like crazy there. We set a fastest lap every lap, guys. So, congratulations to LJ for the win. Um, Tom Barry, congratulations on third. And Varda, unlucky on that penalty, man. You would have been so well. But well done for clearing that up. Congratulations to all. Um, everyone raced very well. No, yes, there was little bits of contact, but it is motorsport. A little rubbing is normally a th thing, so it happens to us all. But very well done, everybody, man. guys thank you very much for coming it was a uh, really nice having you all here and racing with you once again and uh, hopefully we'll see you all again soon but for now I'm gonna have to call it quits on this stream but I will be back later on please by all means feel free to jump in um, probably start up about half nine and go on till about midnight so if you are around please come along jump in again have some great races and um, we'll get uh, some amazing stuff on the way so thank you all guys much appreciated um, and I will see you all soon take care